Hello everyone. In the last video, we had seen the movement of plants due to the stimuli. Now let's have a look on the movement due to the growth. Now some plants cannot grow independently, which means they need support. We all have seen in our day-to-day -day life the money plants which we have in our house. They need support to climb up. That means they either climb the fences or the nearby plants. One of such example is the pea plants. The pea plants climbs the nearby plant or the fences nearby to it. Now the tendrils are sensitive to touch. The tendrils which are attached or which are in contact with the fences or the object does not grow as rapidly as the tendrils which are away. So in this way they show a growth movement which is not so fast but visible. So we can say that the growth of plants in response to external stimuli in which the direction of the stimulus or the stimulus determine the direction of the plant growth is called as tropism. Now this tropism or the movement due to the growth is very slow. There are four agents that affect this tropism. So let the, see this tropism affecting agents one by one. So the first one is phototropism. From the word itself you can see photo means light and tropism we know that it means growth, movement due to the growth. So the phototropism affects the movement of the plant. You must have seen sunflowers. They move according to the sunlight and there are many more. Now all the plants respond to phototropism. Let's see this by an activity. Now here we have taken a conical flask filled with water. In this we put a sapling, plant sapling which have small roots and a shoot. Now we keep this whole setup into a cardboard. Now this cardboard is fully closed with only one opening from where it can get the sunlight. We have to keep this sapling or the setup into this cardboard. Now let's fast forward few days because we have to keep this setup for few days. So we have fast forwarded it some days. After few days you will see that the shoot bends towards the direction of sunlight and the root bends away from the sunlight. So what we can conclude from this? We can conclude that the shoot show positive phototropism and the root show the negative phototropism. Here why we can say that the plants respond to phototropism but positively and negatively in both ways. Now let's have a look on the second agent which affects the tropism which is geotropism. Now in this the plant is affected due to the gravity. Now normally when we see the plants we have seen that the shoots are towards the sky and the roots are downwards in, into the soil. So let's again perform an activity to see the geotropism effect. Now we take a plant in a transparent jar. Normally when we see a plant it shoots its pointing upwards and the roots are downwards towards the earth. So this is a normal plant. Now let's tilt it or bend the pot in the horizontal direction. And you will see that the shoot and the root are parallel to the ground. Now let's again fast forward few days. After few days you will see that the root is still bending downwards towards the earth and the shoot is raising in the upward direction. So we can conclude in geotropism the shoot show a negative geotropism whereas the root show a positive geotropism. Now let's have a look on the third agent that affects the tropism that is hydrotropism. Now hydrotropism is root specific. Now the roots are more prone or more hydrotropic to the areas where water is available in abundance. So we can say that the roots show positive hydrotropism by bending towards the area where the water is available. Now let's see the fourth agent that is chemotropism. Now the chemotropism does not affect the whole plant. It affects only a part of plant. That means it involves chemical changes in the parts of the plant. We will be studying the chemotropism in detail in the next sections. For example, 
the growth of the pollen tube during fertilization due to the presence of sugar in the style is one of them. So, we have seen the various tropisms which are present in the plant. We will be seeing the plant hormones which affect the growth in detail in the next video.